Like, I am going to take you for all your money. I'm going to go in and get a loan for my business. I'm going to close on my house today. That's what this gives. Girl, I don't want to try my tool. You don't need a sorry, so slow. I just got a private show. And you gonna decide when we get blown. I don't want to try my tool. Everything will Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashanti. If you're new here, before we get started, you already know what I'm gonna say. You already know what I'm gonna do. Join the squad, join the family, okay? If you're new here, I do self-care, fashion, and lifestyle videos. So if any of that interests you, do not hesitate to hit the big red subscribe button below, okay? Now that we've gotten that out the way, today's video I'm very excited about because it's all about smelling good. Um, I've been really investing in my, not just perfumes, but just like my scent in general. I've been investing in different kind of products products to like smell good but today we are focusing on my perfume collection this is gonna be my perfume collection but also body butters are staples for me to layer with it's important to me to like find like body butters and oils and stuff that help layer a scent to not only make it last longer but just to make it like go with the chemistry of your body so if you're interested in any of that just keep watching Let's start with body butters first, okay? I have quite a bit of body butters that I use as my base layer to smell divine, okay? And I'm just gonna share with you some of my favorites and some of the one and like like the ones that these are probably like my top my top five, okay? Top five body butters, okay? Let's start with and these are ones that have scents because I have ones that are that are unscented that carries smells very well, like the Fenty Body Butter. That one doesn't have a scent. Honorable mention to that one because it does like act as a good base to carry a perfume. But as far as layering goes, um, these are my top five body butters to layer with, okay? So the first one, in no particular order, is um, the Keys Soul Care. This one is the Keys Soul Care Body Butter. Um, this one I like to, this one is more of like a natural scent. It doesn't like have like a very strong scent to it, but it smells more like a mm, like a traditional body butter, like uh, like a cocoa butter or yeah, like more like a cocoa butter or any kind of like whipped body butter that you may buy. This is what this smells like. I like this to pair with my warmer scents. The next ones that I like, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna start with the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This is another, this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Everybody sees it all over TikTok, Sephora, any kind of website or whatever. Um, I like this smell, this smells like cookies, okay? So this one, yeah, this one smells like literally like, like cookies, like it smells like muffins and cookies and cake and stuff. So these first three, they're all ones that I layer like my warmer scent perfumes with. Uh, this is also by Sol de Janeiro. This is the Bum Dia Bright Cream. And this one, I actually, I got the bigger version of this because I like this smell better than the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This one smells more, this one smells more fresh, but it has like, it's like warm, warm floral, if you will. I love this. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Well, I have six of them actually. The next three are more fresh scents. Um, this is the Sephora Body Super Hydrating uh, Body Hydrator. This is definitely a, a fresher. You can see I've, I've used like almost all of it. But this is one of the ones I mainly layer in the daytime. And I'm going to show you some scents that really pair well with this. I also have the Way Body Cream which is more, it's all fresh. This one is more like, if I had to say like aquatic, I guess. Like this one is something that I would recommend for like, maybe kind of like beachy. This is definitely a daytime fresh. So nighttime fresh since I have this uh, Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And that's exactly what this smells like. This is definitely a more mature scent. This smells, Jeff said this smells like the spa. So that's what I'm gonna go with. This is more like a spa time type of scent. And I think that's, oh no, I wanted, uh, those are body butters, but one 
thing that I definitely layer with is this uh, EOS body lotion. I got it from Target. This is the Jasmine Peach scent. And I'm also going to show you what um, what scents I, I pair with this. This smells really good with a couple of my perfumes. I'm going to put y'all on, okay? All right, so now that we got all of those out of the way, those are my body butters. Okay, I wanna to talk to you guys about how I layer my scents and how I kind of mix my scents. I don't really have like a, a set um, way to start, but let me explain my hygiene routine. I will be filming a uh, 2022 hygiene routine, but let me just explain how I pick how I wanna smell that day, right? So like when I get in the shower, I have like a, a base, a natural soap that I use. I usually use the Jason's or the native soaps to cleanse my body. I exfoliate, I pick an exfoliator, I exfoliate, and then I wash again, I'm a double cleanser. So this is where I start, when I do my second cleanse, this is when I start to layer my scents. Um, I'll do a separate video on body washes that I love for smelling good. Um, I'll probably elaborate more on those in the hygiene video, but the ones I'm loving right now are the Key Soul Care Body Wash, the Way Body Wash, and I think that's it. Those are the two that I kind of start my base layer with, those two. After I get out the shower, I put oil on. Um, I put oil on immediately after shower. I try to pat myself dry and not dry off too much. Um, oils that I love, uh, should I do a separate video for oils? No, because I, I don't really need to. So these are some of the oils that I use. This one is from Burst. I use this one mainly uh, at the gym because it has a spray pump on it. So I like this one better to travel with. Um, I just got this Key Soul Care body oil recently. Um, I really like this one. It smells just like the, it actually smells more like the body wash, which I love the way that smells to layer with. And then um, this is the lemongrass coconut body oil from Trader Joe's. This is another thing that I recently picked up. And this is something that I use more for um, if I wanna smell like fresh and clean, not necessarily trying to go for like a certain scent because this one is very, it the scent on it is very strong. Very, very, very strong. I wash, I put my oils on, and now it's time to pick a body butter and a scent. So let's talk about, should I start from, I must start from my least expensive to my more expensive one. So I'm gonna start here. So these are gonna be my lower end perfumes and sprays. Um, the first one is this Glass Rose by Mix Bar. This is a brand that you can find in Target. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's a small, it's an EDP. Um, this one I use in conjunction with the Body Mist. Um, they do have an EDP of this, I just haven't been able to buy it yet, but this is the Vanilla Bourbon. And these two, I, I think I mentioned this in my last video, that these two layer together very well. Like this is very, this is very warm, very fresh, but it's less expensive. So I like to use this when I'm going to the gym because if somebody were to get into my stuff, I wouldn't mind if I had to replace it. So for these scents, for this one, I would, I layer any kind of body lotion or body butter with this. This is uh, really good with the Key Soul Care and probably the, Sol de Janeiro um, Bomb Dia Bright Cream. Those are the two body butters that I feel like would layer well with these two. Next I have um, Ebony Wood. This is, you know, all the girls go crazy for Ebony Wood. I got this from Zara. This is the Jo Malone Zara collab. And Ebony Wood is spicy, okay? Like, Ebony Wood is very, very spicy. So I like to kind of offset that with a fresher scent um, because I don't really, I like fresher scents more than I like warm scents, but this is probably the warmest scent that I own is Ebony Wood. It's very spicy. Like when you smell it, you're like, it's kind of warm and it might be kind of like, not overbearing, but it might be a lot. So to tone it down a little bit, I like to pair it with a fresher scent. And I'll show you guys which ones those are. But this is one of them. And then I also have the Way North Bondi. 
as you can see, I actually really do like the way products and the thing, the way that they smell. North Bondi is a very fresh scent. This is something, like I said, I would I would layer with something like ebony wood, just to kind of cut the spiciness of ebony wood. But it smells, it just smells so fresh. So any of these, these are like my lower tier um, perfumes. They're all under twenty-five dollars, and they're very like daytime fresh, go to work or after the gym type smells. Except for ebony wood. I like ebony wood with a whole lot of other stuff. It smells so good too. Oh, hold on. North Bondi. North Bondi though, you have to like let it dry down because uh, it's definitely floral. If you're not into floral, you're probably not going to like North Bondi, but I love this scent. It smells so good. All right, so now we're going to go to like my mid-tier perfumes. Um, this one is Michael Kors. Okay, so this is a funny story. This is the Michael Kors. I can't even remember which one this is called, but it is by Michael Kors. I'll put the, the name on the screen of exactly which one it is. But this one is by Michael Kors, and this is actually a dupe for the um, Kim Kardashian, the first... The very first fragrance that Kim Kardashian ever came came out with. I'm not talking about KKW. I'm talking about back in the day, Kim Kardashian's fragrance. The one that came in that little purplish bottle with the pink top. This was my scent back in the day. And I learned a long time ago. I learned maybe like a few years ago that like a lot of celebrity fragrances are based on... Um, other fragrances or name brand fragrances and this is the exact do if you guys remember what that smelled like this oh my god I need to spray on something because it smells so good Hold on. yeah oh it's so nostalgic it smells so good I don't even know how to explain this but I'll have the notes of everything on the screen because I really am not good with like explaining notes but if you used to like that scent back in the day, that that Kim Kardashian scent when we were in like early 2000s, this is the dupe for that scent. This is, it smells exactly like it. It smells exactly like it. Um, I like to what do I like to layer this with? I like to layer this with the Jo Malone, with the Jo Malone body butter. It's, that's a that's a ill combination, and also I would say layer it with the Way. These together are really good. The next one I have is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is actually a toilette that I have. I don't have, I don't know why I didn't get the EDP of this, but um, I do have the toilette. The toilette is just something that I carry around with, like in my purse, just to, to like freshen up if you just want something fresh. But um, I definitely recommend getting the EDP over the toilette because this one smells more like alcohol. So it's not something that I reach for all the time, but if it's something that like I'm outside or I just need something in my purse, this is something that I reach for for that. The next one that I have is Valentino Born in Roma. Valentino Born in Roma has so much potential, okay? It smells so good, but it definitely needs to be layered with something. The one combination that I definitely, that I recently discovered are these two, the, the EOS, um, lotion in jasmine peach if you layer if you put this on first and then layer it with the valentino born in roma oh my god like you're gonna be smelling yourself all day and the eos body lotion holds the scent very well like literally i i used this combination the other day and i literally smelled myself all day long it smells so good it also pairs very well with the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt I actually did that combo last night um and then Jeff complimented me on it and like top tier okay top tier Born in Roma has a lot of potential but it needs to be layered um I, I do like it by itself but I prefer it layered more than anything when I went to Jo Malone to the Jo Malone um uh, section in Nordstrom this is the perfume that they told me um, that they recommended layered well with this and this is the lime basil and mandarin cologne it is an EDP um, I got the small one because I just I wasn't sure and if I was like committed to it or not so I did get the smaller one for it but this together definitely smells like the spa like if you're going you like that smell like when you first when you go get like a, 
I like to go get the body scrubs at Jeju and stuff like that. Like if you like to go get any kind of massage, this is the smell. This is what you would probably most likely smell like when you left a spa. So these two together would be the best combination. All right. So these next ones are my more higher end perfumes. These are the ones that some of these are one. Well, one of them is two of them are a cult classic that um, everybody's talking about. But the first one, obviously, is going to be the Baccarat Rouge. <laughs> I do. I did break down and get the Baccarat Rouge. Let me tell you. So I went to the Bac I uh, The reason why I got Baccarat Rouge is because I actually went to smell some Byredo in Neiman Marcus and they gave me samples of Baccarat Rouge and I'm not gonna lie when I smelled it I was like this smells like grown woman energy this smells like bad bitch this smells like <laughs> this smells like commander room energy okay the, the Baccarat doesn't need to be layered okay you can wear Baccarat by itself I do like to layer it with the Brazilian bum bum cream this this is like an ill combination right here these two together is really good um but honestly baccarat doesn't it speaks for itself it's not something that needs to be layered and it's something that lasts all day okay it lasts all day so um yeah i'm i'm a fan i'm a stan i don't have the intense one this is just the edp the rouge 540 edp but i'm kind of interested in trying the intense just to see if it lasts a little bit longer but honestly i wore this i did a vlog we went to a concert a few weeks ago and um, I was doing my laundry maybe like two weeks later and my clothes still smell like this. I wore this, I wore Baccarat that day and I, my clothes still smell like it. So um, it might not last, you know, perfumes don't last the longest on your body, but like when it, when it hits the clothes, girl, it's gonna stay there, okay? It's gonna stay there until you, until you wash it. I do have the Sailing Day by um the replica Sa sailing day remember i was saying how i like to layer fresher scents with ebony wood this is the one that i go with so um these two together are a great combination if you like the spiciness of the ebony wood but the freshness of the sailing day them together i always get compliments when i layer those two together um and then I also have Sole Blanc from Tom Ford, which I am obsessed with. Uh, I love this. I actually want to get the um, the sparkling Sole Blanc, but this one I love this. This smells so good. I think I wore. I think I layered this with Baccarat. If you are gonna layer Baccarat, these two together is a really good combination. This smells really good together. I also um, y'all y'all heard me talking about this next one a lot and like a lot of my recent videos this is the first perfume that i spent 250 dollars on so i was very excited and i really get my money's worth out of it this is the balder freak by by Rado. this scent is more of come on y'all can you see this scent i feel like is like my signature scent okay like this Jeff loves this scent on me. Oh, I just, this smells so good. Mm. Mm. It's another one that does not really need to be layered. If you just put body oil on and put it on, it smells so good. I'm telling you, Balder Freak, this is like top, this is probably my favorite perfume out of everything that I have. This is probably my favorite. This layers very well with the Joe Malone body cream. So this combination, if you want to screenshot it, this is a really good combination. Uh, what else is a really good combination with this? The Way is a very good combination with this. These two together. These body creams are really good combinations. And yeah. So this last one is something is like my problem, probably my most recent pickup. This is Alien Goddess by Mueller. This is the Mugler Alien Goddess. And this pairs well with oh the eos i wore it with the eos lotion y'all the jasmine peach these two together are the missile okay this combination right here 
this right here is is the bomb it smells so good this one smells very corporate very um yeah this one I, I between this and ysl libre i did smell ysl libre i like this one better this one smells very um boss bitch okay like like i am going to take you for all your money i'm going to go in and get a loan for my business i'm going to close on my house today that's what this gives okay but when you pair it with the jasmine peach lotion honey this is good this is good all right so those are all of my perfumes that i have i do have some scent some um samples i have the cloud by ariana grande but i also have uh god is a woman and i think that i got the travel sizes of these a couple of days ago and i really wanted to smell figure out like if I, if they were really for me and between the two cloud gives the same kind of effect as baccarat rouge as far as like the commanding of it like like honestly she should have named cloud god is a woman because if i'm thinking about that kind of title i feel like cloud gives that that kind of energy if you will like you know how uh we were joking about this the other day Rem you know in the movie boomerang when strong j was talking about her fragrance and how she wanted it to smell like you know the the area down there that's what ariana grande crowd cloud smells like to me like if if she was trying to describe strong j's perfume like this is the kind of perfume that i feel like that's what it smells like and it smells so 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 good it smells very good with the sol de janeiro bomb de bright and it also smells good with the um bum bum cream and it also smells good with the key soul care like it definitely smells really good with all three of those yeah so i think that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was helpful for you all let me know in the comments what your current favorite perfumes are what you're looking at what you want to get what you have how you combine them how you layer them don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace